Hello, my name is Alejandro Murillo and I am an application engineer with GSC. Today we will be taking a look at the benefits of configurations in SOLIDWORKS and how configurations are handled by your PDM system. So why use configurations? Being able to create configurations in SOLIDWORKS is a powerful tool that allows users to represent more than one version of a part or assembly in the same file. An excellent example is standard hardware components. Fasteners such as bolts can have thousands of sizes for their diameter, for their length, and various other specifications. Thus, thousands of models would have to be created for each individual variation of the bolt. Creating and managing these files would be extremely time consuming and difficult. Instead, by leveraging configurations, you can make all of the bolt variations within a single file, which results in less file management, ease of access, and faster creation of models. So, okay, I have created my configurations. How will this affect my PDM system? During this video, we will explore how easily configurations interact in your PDM environment. So, in PDM, you have what's called a vault view. This vault view looks very similar to Windows Explorer with some additional information. Some of the additional information includes custom properties for your model. You can access this through the Add tab of your model's data card, which, you, which is shown on the right uh, of the slide. The Add tab displays custom properties which apply to the model file in general. In this example, the revision custom property is going to apply to the entire model file, including all of the configurations within the file. In the data card next to the Add tab, you'll notice that there are additional tabs, and these tabs are for each configuration within the model. In the data card above, the ARL001 tab is active and displays only configuration-specific information of the ARL0001 configuration. The exception is the revision B because this is inherited from the Add to Custom Property tab. Revision Custom Property will be the same for all configurations. How about the Bill of Materials? Will this show the correct configuration specific properties? As you can see, you can easily access your BOM from the Vault view. You can also toggle different assembly configurations through this view and the BOM will update accordingly. Once you pick the desired assembly configuration, you can then easily export your bill of materials as a CSV file. So let's take a look and let's see how this looks like in a real vault view. So if I go to my Windows Explorer, you'll see that I'll have a whole bunch of little blueberries. These blueberries are my various vault views that gives me access to specific vaults. In this case, I created a vault view for my configurations vault. And here we have a project. And it's called Arrow Launcher. And you can see here, once again, this looks very, very similar to Windows Explorer except with some additional information. Here you can see you can access a preview of your model. You can also access additional information from your data card. You can even see what version you're working with as well as what revision. You can access the bill of materials. You can see what files the Arrow Launcher assembly is referencing as well as where this assembly is being used. In this case, we're interested in the data card. Okay, and once again, here we have the Add tab. And the Add tab is only going to display general model information. In this case, we only have a revision custom property. Uh, here we're working with revision B. And because this is in the Add tab, this revision property is going to apply to all of our other configurations. Now, if I click one of my configuration specific tabs, you'll see that now I have some additional custom property information along with the revision custom property. 
here you can see we have a, a number for this specific configuration. I also have a description for this configuration. And you can see that they're all different for each one of my configurations other than revision B. The best way to think of the add tab, that's more of a global property. Now what about my bill of materials? If I click this bill of materials tab, you'll see here that I get a nice little preview of all the items contained in my arrow launcher assembly model. Right now I'm in the default configuration. Let's hit the ARL 001 configuration. And you can see right now this part is using part number M003 for the main body, which is a main body with the ammo holder. And it's also using an arrow configuration, uh, configuration ARW0001, uh, which is a short arrow according to the description. Here, if I toggle to my ARO 4 configuration, you can see that the bill of material updates. Now, my main body configuration is M0001, which is a main body with no sight. And my arrow configuration now is ARW0003, which is a long arrow configuration. So even with configurations, you can see that your bill of materials can update accordingly uh, very easily, simply by toggling your different configurations. So one of the nice benefits is of your data card is that if I create another configuration in my arrow launcher assembly, I can fill in all that custom property information in my data card and it will property it over to my uh, assembly model. Let's take a look. So we're going to go ahead and open up our arrow launcher uh, assembly in order to make a new configuration. So in order to make this configuration, I'm going to check this file out. And I'm only going to make the change to the arrow launcher and other components are going to change. And I'll go ahead and open it. And here we have our arrow launcher, which is composed of various components. I have a main body. I have two nozzles. I have two end caps, a finger grip, two arrows, two plungers, and finally two pull rings. And you can even see if I go to the configurations tab, here I can see my various configurations. So I'm going to create a new configuration. And I'm going to give it a configuration name, which is going to be a part number, ARL0005. And for the description, I'm going to name it ARL for arrow launcher, no sight, and medium arrow. So a nice descriptive name that tells me what this configuration looks like. And this is the description I want to use in my bill of materials if I create one in my drawing. Uh, I also want to use as the part number in my bill of materials, I want it to use the configuration name, ARL0005. And I will select OK. And you can see here my new configuration was created and is active. So let's go ahead and make some changes to our model for our new configuration. So we want the no sight configuration for the main body. So here I'm going to click the main body and you can see it has various configurations. So important thing I want to do is I want to make sure I only want this change to affect this current active configuration and I want the main body with no sight. Try that one more time. Main body with no sight. Hit the little green check mark, and you can see the main body updates and no longer has a sight. If I go back to my configuration description, you can see that it says use the medium arrow. Right now we're using the short arrow. So we want to click both configs. Here it's only going to affect this configuration, which is perfect. And now we're going to use the medium arrow. And you can see my geometry updates. I'll go ahead and save my model. 
And then I have what's called a PDM add-in, where if I actually click the launcher, instead of going into my vault view, I can actually add custom property information to my arrow launcher from this show property shortcut. And you can see I see some of these data card tabs. Again, I have my add tab and I have each one of my configuration specific tabs. So now we have this new configuration and I am going to change the number. I want it to be 05. For the description, I want this to be no site. And I want to use the medium error. So now the description matches my actual uh, model. And my, my part number has actually also updated. And I'll select OK. okay. Now I'll go ahead and save this. And you'll see that those changes that I applied to my configuration specific properties actually updated my model. If I go to summary information, you can see here that configuration specific properties for ARL 005 now says ARL no site medium arrow, medium arrow, which were the changes we just applied, and the part number also has updated, which is what we want. So from our data card, we're able to write and update our custom pro our configuration specific and custom property information of our model. So now I'm going to go ahead and check in my arrow launcher through my PDM add-in. So I'll right click it. I'll check it in. Added ARL. 05 configuration. I can add a comment so users know what I did. Configuration. And if I jump back to my vault view and hit refresh. So like my air launcher again, you'll see now my new configuration appears in my data card. And if I go to my bill of materials, I should also be able to select the ARL05 assembly configuration bill of materials. And you can see here we're using the medium arrow and we're using the main body with no sight. If I want to export this bill of materials out, I can. Here you can see we have some commands where we can save the bill of materials and we can export it out as a CSV file. So I'll go ahead and export this out. And here you can see my bill of materials. If I slide these headers a little bit over, you can see all the same information that I saw in my vault view is now shown in this exported CSV file. So once again, uh, using configurations is very powerful and you can easily uh, use it and take advantage of configurations even if you have a PDM system. This is Alejandro with GSC and thanks for watching today's video presentation.